As champion and eagle bearer, I, Alexios, come to the cave of Kratos in order to become the new god of war. Zeus! Your son has returned. I bring the destruction of Olympus! Yeah, then again, on second thought, nope, 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 nope. Big nope. Nope, nope. What's up, everybody? It's Darkstride of the YouTube Assassin, and welcome to my second part to this whole uh, retrieval of the Enigmata Astrakas. Now, the very first one in this series is actually going to be over by the Pirate Islands. Now, we were over here. There's the first Pirate Island. And, you know, just to give you a lay of the land, there's the rest of the landscape. So we're out towards this tiny, tiny island, which is pretty much uh, south of the main pirate island, when, uh, the very first pirate island you get to. So we're going to find the Whaling Cavern here on the southern end, and we're going to go into the water. And we're going to go looking for the caverns here. This has like another quest where you're actually uh, locating other pieces and stuff. Uh, I forget the quest uh, right off the top of my head. I do believe it was something to do with the uh, pirate captain's brother or something. And here's the entrance to the cave. We're just going to swim in here without bumping into things. And once we solve this puzzle, it'll give us a brand new engraving, which is awesome. So let's see. Yeah, we might as well loot that. And we'll take that pride of place. If you sail back to the Isle of Chaos, search for the Marble Lion's brother. He stands proud on the peninsula at Apollo's refuge. You can find me on his back. All right, that, that shouldn't be too hard. We already know where the lion is. Okay, so this really wasn't that hard at all. Basically, we came back to the main pirate island and if you go here this is the reclining lion and we just headed over here where we found the smaller version of that lion which I'm standing in front of you'll see uh, up this way was the reclining lion so you know we had to basically just take a walk from here so it really wasn't that far line is somewhere up there so we walked like I said to the uh, southeastern edge of the water once again I'll show you where it is there it is right there there's the uh, actual reclining line itself once again and we just come over here and we check it out so there we go plus two seconds intoxicated duration not bad our next Astraka should actually give us no trouble. We're actually heading, I believe, west of the little island that we had here. And it's a much bigger island. And if we head a little bit south of the island, we see Adios' house. And all there is is a uh, Astraka in there. So there's, there's not going to be any trouble. There's no guards or anything like that. So it's over in this section of the house. And here it is. Blue-Eyed Beauty, in the Cradle of Myths, where the lagoon is blue, seek a hole set in stone, so I may see you. When the sun blazes brightest, the fog will lift, and the eye will open to behold your gift. Ah, uh, this sounds a little weird. We'll figure it out. Okay, so this one was a lot less hard than I thought. Where we're at right now is north of the island. There's a little... Uh, underwater location here and we're in the water we're looking towards that little outcropping there all right so you're going to be close there and pretty much right at the base of that mouth there we're going to go down well we can't do it here we actually have to pull back a little bit because for some reason there we go all right so now we're going to swim in this direction 
and you'll see this little pot here and there it is plus four percent crit chance while low health that's that's not gonna be bad for some builds our next Ostraka is gonna be at a leader house nearby it's gonna be on these uh, volcanic islands over here the obsidian islands alright we just kept going south and we came over here to the leader house all right right below the uh sink point and there it is you're going to come into the leader house and as you can see all you have to do is jump over to this balcony over here and we've got it upon typhon's crown stand atop with leaders dwell and you will see my isle Typhon's revenge is where I am. Come visit for a while. Scale the mountain, forge the fire, for at its peak I sit, but fear the smog and doom and heat, for they will test your grit. Okay. Wonder where that is. Okay, so again, this really wasn't that hard uh, to find. Basically, what we had to do was from the main island over here head north to this area over here Typhon's Revenge and we climbed up the mountains to the very top uh, all the way near the cauldron and we'll see this little thing sticking out over here and this is it plus six percent damage with heavy weapons very nice the very next Ostraka that we're going to come across is going to be close again to the Pirate Islands. We're actually going to hit land in Argolis, and we're going to go kind of deep into it. We're going to get to this part over here, and we're going to find the Epidoros Acropolis. All right, here just to give you a little idea of how far in it is. And when you come across this building structure here, you'll see the main house there. And off on the side here, there's the Ostraka. So that's what we're going to go for without causing a disturbance. Because as you can see, these guys are pretty powerful for my level. My poor Alexios, he's only level 16. And I want to let you know, most of these levels have been him just doing his thing. Actually... Yeah, that wasn't too bad. The floor is lava. Rumors are erupting that a precious relic was sent to be destroyed at the foundry of Hephaestus or something like that. Dive down the throat of the volcano and be mindful of your footing. Some have been scorched trying to recover me. Wow. Kind of Lord of the Rings assault on Mordor status. All right, let's find it. Okay, so get ready for this one. This one is insane. First of all, once we get the uh, Ostraka, which was over here, we have to head this way to this the depth of the forge. So now, you see it's the, the foundry of uh, Hephaestus, or I hope I'm pronouncing that right. We're going to climb up this branch here at the tippy top, and we're going to dive. I died right here <laughs> but you'll survive now once you're in here you'll notice there is a ton of lava and yes you will die almost instantaneously once you touch that so our goal is to get over that way to that little area in order to do that we're gonna have to jump this way Ooh, not not that high buddy come on it's not that hot gonna do a lot of wall crawling all right now once we get to this point got to be careful not to get spotted we'll see it right over there the statue of like this guy over here Plus 8% damage with heavy weapons. Now that is not bad. That's the highest I've seen in an Ostraka so far. Our next Ostraka isn't going to be too difficult to find either. Again, we're still in Argolis. 
And this time we are a little further in. We're over here in this town, Argos. And we're over at the leader house. So if you check the leader house, there it is. And it's actually right where I'm standing right here, right at that spot. So I'm just going to go in, grab it. An arm and a leg. How much does a temple cost? Head southeast to the sanctuary of Archipolis. In the temple, you'll find me among the donated limbs. Ew. Okay, let's find it. Okay, so this one is another one that wasn't too hard. All we had to do was, while still in Argolis, go a little further down. We started up here. We went down this way. And here is the uh, synchronized location. You just jump down. Then you go around to this area. This is the front of the actual building. When you jump down, you're on the other side. Enter the building. And there it is. Plus 20% crit damage while low health. Oh, man, that's going to be killer. So our next Ashtraka is going to be not that far from the city. Here's the actual city over here. And we're heading towards the east. And we get over here to the Bronze Club of Periphetes. And this is like a little camp. And it has our next Ashtraka. It's going to be kind of in the middle. All right, yeah, there's going to be all kinds of uh, huntresses and hunters and stuff. So they're all defending this altar. You get to the steps right there. That's actually where our Ostraka is. Two of clubs. There is a club not far from here that rivals this Iron Beauty. Travel southeast to the edge of the Valley of Dreams. I will be waiting atop the bigger of these two clubs. The bigger of the two clubs. All right, let's figure it out. So this actually wasn't that bad either. All we had to do was come over to the uh, Club of Heracles. All right, we got the Ostraka up here. It's to the south. Club of Heracles. I believe this was, uh, nope, that was a military camp. I believe this was the other club. No, I'm wrong again. All right, well, we come here. And what we're going to do is clear out the bandits. You're going to come to the middle you see this large tree here or whatever they've done to it to make it look like a totem pole or something. Climb all the way to the top. And there it is right there. Plus 4% crit chance while low health. On to the next. So our very next Ostraka. We're just going straight up the coast pretty much. Here's where we were over in Argolis. We go a little north towards Corinthia. And right here at the Sea Captain Dock, there's an Ostraka. Right by the boat. Uh, turning tides. The seeds are not to your favor. Seek out a trident, the bigger one in Corinth, being held by the statue of Poseidon. You will find me there on one of its prongs. All right, that seems pretty straightforward. Now, just in case you were wondering, here is the base itself. And those warehouses, we're straight across. We're basically at this gutted boat here. And this is where we picked it up. So let's find it now. Okay, so another not really hard to solve puzzle. All we had to do was go from uh, Sea Captain Dock this way into Corinth. And we go to this point over here, to Corinthia actually. And we find a statue of Poseidon. Please excuse the butt. And we're going to climb it. 
Please excuse the terminology. Phrasing boom, nailed it. I'm going to climb on this side so that nobody says nothing. And we get over here. Nope. There's the prong right there. Nice engraving. Okay, on to the next one. Our next Astraka is actually a really easy area to find, and it's easy to find the Astraka. We're over here, still in Corinthia. You'll see that this is the main area here, the main town. And we're coming to the Sacred Cave, which is not that far from the actual uh, Temple of Apollo, which is the Sink Point. So we're going to come down here to the cave, and very simply, we're just going to walk in. No trouble, no problems, and it's right here. Travel southwest of Corinth in the Valley of Judgment to find a beautiful monster. You can find me on the tip of her tongue. Just be careful to not get swallowed up by her gaze. Okay, Stone Cold. It sounds like a Medusa thing. Let's go check it out. Okay, so this is another one that really wasn't that hard to find. Uh, what we had to do was, from this area up here, we come down into this little area, and we come right near these sanctuary ruins, and there'll be this big tree here. Beware the Gorgon stair. I wonder how the sculpture captured the details so perfectly. And as you can see, it actually looks just like Medusa. And we go right here to the tongue. And we get a plus 20% crit damage while full health. That's pretty cool. Our next Astraka is going to be a little bit further inland. So here we are at Laconia, which is pretty much south of where we've been hunting. And we get over to this area right here, the altar of uh, Dioscori. And there's a treasure chest, and then there's the Ostraka right there. I don't know where this woman just came from. But there we go. Mapping out. Well, let's take a look at uh, what it says. Okay, so mapping out. There is a pond in the south of the chasm of Tegedos, where rocks are arranged to look like a map. Your reward is hidden on this map, making your current marking your current location. Right, that doesn't sound too hard. Our uh, solution to this Ostraka is actually not that hard. If we look on the map, we're at this pond of Tyneros. So we're south of where we got the uh, the Ostraka in Laconia. We come all the way down here and we enter this little camp and it's going to be right in the water by this pond. So here's the camp, and we're going to go right over here, in fact. There it is, 9% adrenaline per hit. That's actually pretty good. So our next Ostraka is actually over here at this camp. I'll show you on the map where we are. Still in Laconia. Now we're towards the east of this whole area over here. And we're going to find a little camp here. And our Ostraka is going to be right here near the tents. So it says Rightful King. Let's take a look at it. 
Here's uh, Alexios looking like Kratos. All right, Rightful King, you have come so far. Your training is nearly complete. With shining strength in hand, you will seek victory. Take the path north up Mount Tigetos, and you will find me at a snowy summit where stone turns weak. Ah, oh. okay. So my guess is actually going to be that it's going to be somewhere around here on this snow path. Let's find out. So the location of this Astraka is actually on the mountains, like I said, but it's a little bit further. So here's where we actually got the Astraka, and we're going to come here all the way to the tippy top, right up here. All right. Uh, when we get there, we actually find a couple of things. This is also going to have a uh, auriculum ore that I had uh, found here. And I didn't even realize that this was here, but there it is. Plus 6% crit chance with full health. Our next Astraka is actually in the heart of Sparta at the leader house. So here's Sparta. Going straight to the leader house. That's where we'll find it. There it is, soldier to shoulder. If you stand on the shoulder of Leonidas, you will see he gazes towards the sanctuary dedicated to a mighty king of Sparta who ruled long ago. Start your journey southeast to Helot Hills and find me at the temple's altar. So this one was another easy one. Basically what we're doing is from Sparta itself, we're heading a little bit southeast and we're coming over here to the uh, Menelion. I think that's how you pronounce it. And we're coming directly to this building. It's just, you know, like one of those points of interest. And we're coming around the back. And right here on this table is where we'll find it. Plus 10% elemental resistance. Our next Astraka is actually at the Temple of Apollo. So show you on the map. We are on the other side of the uh, mountains over here. We're in Messenia, which I'll give you a wider view so you could see. And we're over here at the temple. And once we get in, it will be, basically it looks just like a bunch of uh, destroyed kind of houses. So there's one side, which doesn't have anything we need. We're actually on the other side in a little room Procession of bones. They keep piling up in the city, so the dead are taken east towards the bridge that splits into three directions, then north to where a winding road leads to a small camp. They are to be dumped in a pit along with other waste. You can find me down there like cold feet poking out from under a blanket. I actually think I know where this is. Okay, so the solution was pretty easy. We're actually coming from where we got it little northeast to Cadia's cave where there's this giant pit and you'll see it right here at the bottom plus 12% adrenaline per hit nice our next Astraka is not that far away from the uh, pit that we just were at. So let's take a look. Okay, here's Cadia's cave. Right directly to the east is the palace of Aphareus. Now, what we have to do is actually come in and climb up to this side there where you'll see the Astraka right there. Foggy memory. Workers are told if they extract any unusual items from the mines of the Great Trench, they must report them. But if you pay them enough, they will forget their foot or their loot on the far side of the lake under a willow tree in Messine village. And to find out where it is exactly, we're going to head north from where we were. Over to this little town over here, Messine. 
and you'll see this great big lake over here or pond or whatever and all we do is come to this little rock over here and there it is right there plus four damage with swords and daggers our next Astraka is going to be found in Terror Gorge so I'll show you where it is here is the uh, trench and we went east of that over here it's Terror Gorge go inside it's really easy just you know straight down through there and we come over here and here it is on the floor right next to this prisoner tastes like chicken chicken craving I hear they keep a hidden coop at the temple north of Messine overlooking the mine you will find me there in a bag of feed and another one that isn't that hard to find uh, there is a chicken coop back here it's over here by the uh, temple of Zeus all right here's where the cave was basically we went back to the town we went north and we come over here on the side and you'll see this little chicken coop and there it goes plus four percent crit chance while low health the next Astraka we come to the lost horse of Odysseus of Odysseus uh, basically here is uh, here's some ruins we're actually north east of uh, the trench of this town Messine and we come here the layout is, is pretty simple over here you have a couple of guards a couple of uh, chests and other objectives but right here in that little horse pit that's where the Astraka is hobby horsing what tragic times our farm once raised the fastest horses go to the race course in the forest of Sauron where you'll find me on a table with small toy horses the last remaining memories of a great team so the solution was kind of simple to this we're coming to this uh, camp over here okay uh, let's see I believe we got yep we got a uh, we got a Ostraka from here you're going all the way west to this area here come to this camp and it will be kind of on the outskirts of the camp you're gonna look for this little tent that actually has the treasure chest there we're gonna come over and we're gonna grab it on the same table plus six percent damage with spears and staffs that's nice this next Astraka is on this deserted farm so here it is um, it would probably be west of uh, over here Corinthia so you just keep going west and it's north of these golden fields You get in and all you got to do is just climb up this building here and you'll find it on the roof farming coin oops I messed with the wrong people I'll head north to the peak where the metal bird overlooks the golden fields then down to the sunken ruins besides whatever village there I'll be waiting with my pile of cabbage and the solution once again was kind of easy what we did was that not that far from where we were over here you head north towards this little area Symphalos here is an armored bird which is the sink point you're gonna go right into the water right next to the town and right here on this platform you'll see a bunch of cabbage and there it is plus 10% crit chance while low health the very next Astraka that we're gonna come across is gonna be right here in the temple of Apollo so it's gonna be close to Ellis pretty much on the border just to give you an idea of where it is 
and we're going to come in here. It's going to be like a lot of guards here. The side of the building that you want to enter in through in order to get it is going to be on this side near where this uh, this guard is, this little tower here. You're going to enter in on this side. And then you'll have a room that has a treasure chest and it also has the Astraco. Strange disease. It sounds too good to be true. A spring that heals all. Travel east along the border of Phosphorus foothills to find a cave that once housed the Lonide Sisterhood of Nymphs. I will be waiting near its entrance in a submerged basin of offerings. Okay, so this one was another one that really wasn't that hard. We're coming over here to the cave of Eonidas. Uh, let's see. Here's where we got the Ostraka. It's to the east, basically. And once you get to the cave, you just head into it. And you really don't even have to go that far. There it is right there. Plus 6% damage with swords and daggers. This next Ostraka is a little bit of a pain. It's kind of hard to find. It's in the spring of Piera. Now. You're going to come across the spring of Piera right here. It's in Ellis. And what you're going to do is you're going to enter into the spring. You're going to see absolutely nothing except uh, two treasure boxes, an ancient tablet, tents. And then you're going to have to go and take a look at the wall. I can't uh, get it right now because Icarus isn't available. I'm inside the building. But you see like a tiny crack in the rock surface, like up high. So what you do is you enter that surface. You go into like this thing you go underwater and then you'll get to this area over here and when you get here what you're gonna have to do is come over here there's the tablet as soon as you get out of the water you get down there Prophecy Prevention. As a champion, time is your greatest competitor. Go to the Hippodrome and climb up the second column closest to Olympia. Look north towards the peak. There I will be sitting on the right wing of a titan who had to swallow this lesson along with his pride. Okay, so like, this is the water you would come out of. Right there would be the second treasure chest. So when you see that treasure chest, it's to your right. I'll take you right back through the, uh, the underground or the underwater area. Yeah, I'm working my way back to the uh, to the entrance there. There we go. So I jumped in that water, swam through, and the Astraka was right there laying right by those guards. And this is the tiny rock crack I'm talking about. So you're going to have to come... There's the, the lake, there's a treasure box down there somewhere, the uh, ancient tablet is over there somewhere, and you're going to have to cross over, climb the rock wall just so you could get into that crack there. Alright, other side of the waterfall. Now let's find that Astraka. The solution to this one is going to be not that far away from uh, this area over here. So this would be, I believe, Ellis itself. You're going to come this way, up this little path here to the top of this mountain, where you'll actually see a giant statue of Kronos. 
And we're going to climb up and get to his wing over here on this side. And there it is. Plus 30% crit damage while full health. And a creepy, creepy statue to boot. So for the next Astraka, we're actually going to go into the uh, city of Ellis. Here it is right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to come to the Temple of Hades, which is right next to the uh, Temple of Apollo, which is the sink point. Now, all you're going to do is enter the temple. You'll enter through the entrance over here. And you'll just walk up some stairs. On one side, there's going to be a treasure chest. And on the other side will be the Astraka. Centaur Field. Look for a stone centaur in the middle of a pond in the plains of Fox. Walk in the direction it faces until another centaur points you in a new direction. Though it will be difficult to... As the fog gets thicker, fear not, for I will be safe inside a cave of treasures waiting for you to find me. That sounds kind of straightforward. So the resolution of this wasn't that hard. Uh, we're going to come to this uh, flax field, plains of flax, and all around here there'll be different statues of different centaurs until you find this one here that's actually pointing at us to kind of go into this uh, cave here. So we're going to come in this cave. We'll follow the path, come around. And there it is right there. Plus 6% damage with overpower abilities. Our next Astraka is at the Techotes of Heracles. So here's where it is it's basically like right north of Ellis into Akaya there's the uh, fort right there and you're gonna come in there's the bridge it's a massive thing here you're gonna see it over on this corner here underneath this tent Die, die, die. Blood and dirt stains are less noticeable on darker fabric. Head east across Emirthios Peaks to the village of Bora. They specialize in fabric production. Find me in a large vat of red dye. So this was another easy one. All we had to actually do was head east from where we got the, uh, the Ostraka. So here's the uh, Tetios of Hercules. And we just head east to Bora. And what we end up doing is coming to this big uh, four square vat of red. And here it is right here. Three seconds intoxicated in duration. So that that's this uh, Ostraka solved. And this will be the final one for this video. There's 20 that we did in total. So with the first video, we have 40 in total. That means there's about 20 more to go. So uh, I'll, I'll be putting the next 20 in the next video. Uh, for now, enjoy finding all those engravings. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and that you keep it here for everything involving video games, especially Assassin's Creed Odyssey and every other Assassin's Creed game. This has been Dark Stride of the YouTube Assassin, and this is the only time that you're going to see me before I see you.